Well, let's talk about last year's vaccine first because we thought that was going to be pretty effective. It was, then it wasn't so much so that it led to some new changes. So let's talk about what happened last year. First and foremost, the U.S. had a two wave flu season. The first wave behaved as expected, but the second virus, the flu shot, offered no protection. And so initially we had a 47% effective rate if efficacy rate for the flu shot. But then because of that second wave, it went down to 29%. So the severity has even prompted the president to pass an executive order modernizing the flu vaccine. Now it doesn't allocate any funding right away, but it does call for a task force to evaluate current vaccines. That's welcome news because last year, Washington state had 241 flu deaths. The Department of Health says that while it's low right now, it is always best to be prepared. So what's new with the flu this year? Well, basically now the vaccine is quadrivalent, which means it covers four strains of the flu as opposed to three. And in addition to that, all of them are grown in cell based situations, not eggs because of those allergy concerns. And also new single dose antiviral vaccine will help you if you get the flu. It was just approved by the FDA and it's in use for the first time this year. Now, good news for parents that nasal spray is back. That wasn't available last year. So who should not get the flu? Well, who should get the flu? Who should not skip their shot, I should say, is first of all, the most vulnerable is the young, elderly, and pregnant. And remember, you gotta get it because it takes two weeks to incubate. So if you can't get the shot because someone wrote me and asked, hey, what happens if you can't get the shot? Best thing to do is avoid public places, stay home, and wash your hands a lot.